are headed east on Highway E, and we came out of Hartville, uh, went north out of town and took a right on Z, went two miles on Z, and then we took a right onto Highway E, and we've gone 3.6 miles on Highway E, and we're about to go left onto the uh, gravel easement road. So you can see some mailboxes on the right. Kind of have to watch for the turn, but like, no, we just hit 3.8 miles. So that's exactly how far you have to go once you go right or east on the Highway E. Now I'm going to reset this trip meter. It's going to be a little wet out here. It rained all day yesterday. Um, and it's not raining today, but everything is going to be fairly saturated I'm sure we don't always start the videos um, you know way back on the road but in this case I thought it'd be a good idea to, to really show everybody the, the drive in to the property and these are fairly solid roads but you do have to go slowly on parts uh, they are gravel roads so we've gone about a quarter mile on the, on the straight part, and now we come to a, a fork in the road. We're going to veer to the left. Got a little bit of blue sky today. That's great. We'll take it. So we, like I said, we went left at the... Uh, at the fork in the road and I'm just gonna keep the camera rolling I'd normally probably be going a little slower on these roads because they are gravel easement roads but I want to keep this part of the video short so we can get on into the good stuff and check out the property So we're in Wright County. We're just maybe three miles from the Gasconade River. There's a good uh, access point uh, open to the public on the Gasconade River. Had we kept going on Highway E, instead of turning onto the gravel road, had we kept going for, I think like two miles, roughly two miles, um, there's a nice public access area. You can put a, a boat or a canoe in the water. You can fish right there from the shore, from the access area. Uh, pretty cool. Nice section of river, too. Wright County is well known for wildlife. You're going to find white-tailed deer all over. You're going to see turkey all over the place. Most of the land out here is owned by um, people who likely live out of state and, and maybe come for hunting or for, uh, for camping a few times a year. Certainly there are some people who live on the, the rural properties out here, but by and large, they are uh, recreational users. So we've actually come to another fork in the road, and you're going to go left at this fork. I've got my MapRite app open on the iPad, so I know exactly where we are. Um, and you'll want to do the same thing when you come to visit the property. We can email you the... Uh, map right link for the same interactive map that you see on the listing and if you get the map right app on your phone or on your tablet uh, you can actually um, use that link live while you're coming to the property which is pretty cool so right now we're parked directly on um, uh, I can't remember the name of this creek is this crooked creek very possibly It's either Crooked Creek or a small creek that, that flows into Crooked Creek, one of the two. Uh, but either way, it, it basically does run a little bit all year. Um, so this is why you'll probably want a truck or an SUV. Um, if the water's been up and it's rutted anything out, then obviously uh, you're going to need a little bit of clearance. Four-wheel drive's a good idea as well, because as soon as we cross the creek bed, we have to go up a hill. And it's not extremely steep, but it is a long hill. So if, uh, 
if you're in a two-wheel drive and you kind of start to spin, it, it becomes a pain. These are not public roads. These are private roads just for the property owners. Makes it very private back here. So today I definitely don't need four wheel drive. Uh, even though the roads are a little bit wet, we're still definitely gonna say that a, a four wheel drive truck or SUV is ideal for accessing um, the property on, on this hill back here. So now we're at the top of the hill. Okay, I'm going to stop here for just a second.